we have a hardware problem. Okay? All of these airplanes that we have and that we love are not being chosen by the mass public at large. They don't want to fly in a small little bumpy airplane go from point A to point B. They really don't know what it's about. A lot of misconceptions. So all of you who fly your own airplanes are privy to a secret, right? You know this is awesome. You'd fly anything. But uh, the general public voted with their wallets and supported an automotive industry. Now in the automotive industry you can build a car, a Toyota, in 28 man hours. And it consists of tens of thousands of engineered systems and parts. An airplane is fundamentally simpler than any car. And for that reason, there, isn't, there should not be a reason why we cannot make an appropriate investment in the appropriate future technologies to deliver a solution to the direct regional transportation problem. And the essence of the problem is this, I'll keep on going, um, is that if you could deliver a solution for less than 10 cents per passenger mile, NASA says you have a $1 trillion plus market on your hands. Because if you wanted to travel from between 500 to 1,000 miles, there is just nothing but pain. Either you've got to crawl into the cramped car and load up the family and spend days on the road and pay for meals out and hotel rooms and, and all of that sort of thing, plus the lost productivity, or you're going to fly 500 miles the wrong direction to get to a hub to wait around and then get on another airplane and fly back to where you were going to be to land at an airport that's 25, 35, 100 miles from where you actually want to go. Whereas direct transportation, if there was such a thing as the ability to use our existing general aviation infrastructure, you can fly from point A to point B directly in a very short period of time. So NASA did the study on this. They know that it works. And the passenger count should be you know, a reasonable number of people. It's a lot like an automobile. Most automobiles populated by one, but they have four, five, six, seven, eight seats. So the, the passenger count solution is really what we're looking for in general aviation. So the reason we have this problem is basically twofold. Uh, and I think the most important one that I'm working on is we don't necessarily recognize what the actual issue is. The actual issue is that um, oh, I'm sorry. That's what happens. My brain gets full, you know, and it's just <laughs> busy waiting. Too, too many thoughts came to mind. The actual problem is that there is not an understanding of why we don't have fundamental fuel efficiency in the speed range between 70 and 400 miles per hour. So we can take every plane here and we can put it on a graph that relates mechanical efficiency, specific efficiency, to speed and to weight. And what we find is that we are pretty, tr pretty efficient transporting things with rail, boat, merchant ship, automobile and so on, you hit this barrier close to 100 miles an hour at which time you start just wasting fuel. And then once you get up to about 400 or so, 450, all of a sudden the air is solid enough to where all the commercial solutions work great and these airplanes that are flying commercially are fundamentally fuel efficient. In fact, the largest ones, the fastest ones, the heaviest ones all cross the original Gabrielli von Karman limit that was discovered in 1950. It's just a it's a way of referencing how good we're doing. But the void between these 200 mile an hour airplanes and the opportunity space up here is just so striking. And you, a lot of you have seen the, the graph on that. We, we didn't bring it back. So Synergy is a solution because it's fast. It's a solution because it's comfortable and because it's fuel efficient, cost effective. We are not going to tell you what the actual cost effectiveness is. We just have to wait and, and, and demonstrate that. We know what it is. It's not a mystery. Um, one of the big myths I'd like to clear up is that we're trying to figure this out. Uh, we're not trying to figure this out. I wouldn't have started designing anything if I didn't already feel like the solution was in hand to the level that it would deliver the achievable goal targets that we had set. And so all of our work to date has confirmed that, that we will, in fact, uh, achieve all those targets. But until we do, I don't want to sound like a crackpot any more than I already do. 